if you work it's showing a smoke particle on the ground and it perfectly synced up with your animation system also if you punch bam it's cool right so this is our starting scene as you can see i downloaded a model from mixamo and also added my joystick system for simple movement and the scene also have a punch button that make the player punch okay now we want to work on animation event i want to show you guys how you can use animation event for showing a particle system whenever player leg touch the ground okay first select the character go to window then animation okay now we want to drag it drag this top down yeah as you can see our animation is playing right so starting scene and this frame yep this frame this frame i want to show some particle so just click on it it will add an event this is for left leg now for the right one go 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 mm. yeah this one looks good again at event done now if you want to go to event then go to no function selected just that there is nothing you can select nothing okay so now we have to add a, add a system that whenever our animation frame go to that event it triggers uh, something like say show some particle now create a script called animation event controller open it with your script editor we want to show a uh, particle here right on leg so click your ninja then go to your right leg i already have a uh, object here this one is left right and this one is right leg particle it just a uh, just empty object just create one now click on the ninja and add animation event controller open script delete the default methods we will create two functions first one public void show left particle another one public void show right particle now if you go again your animations and click on this event this one is for left 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 leg here so click on it and animation event controller methods show left particle similarly on the right one at right particle now pub now we need to take reference for our particle so public game object work particle also we added to empty transform right transform left 
transform and one for right transform what we are going to do is whenever left particle function called we are going to instantiate our particle so instantiate work particle and as a parent we're going to give left transform copy this line of code and paste it here change the left transform to right also just make it to transform nice now we are going to reset our local position now we have to assign our variable i already created a work particle so i'm going to assign it here in your case you just have to make uh, uh, something like a smoke particle or maybe you want to uh, play a work sound you can you can easily do that using that function now we need to assign our left transform and right transform right so go to ninja left particle and the right left particle now if you play this game right now it should give you some particle yeah you see you can see our particle working so uh, this is one way that you can do this one but uh let me show you something you see it has a lot of already smoke dust but you d actually don't need that many options uh, for this kind of particle just use the object pooling system just just use the object pooling system it will work okay let me show you an another example so whenever a character is punching we want to give some particle right for work particle we instantiated our smoke particle but you can do it another way again for that go to window animations and select your punch animation then let's see which frame we want to add some particle yeah this one looks good okay click on it event but we don't have any method for this one so let's create public void show punch particle we need another reference public game object punch particle now let's see which frame is punch right so you can lock your animation window here now click here let's see which one is showing i think is is a right arm yeah so go left shoulder right shoulder and so let's remove our animation event from here so rather than instantiating you can use uh, just simply drag your whatever your particle is and make it disable okay also reset just change the position let's see what happens yep now just click on it and let's see yeah now in this example i'm going to show you like you can also don't have to use like instead sheet or something you just simply can call like particle object dot game object dot selective true 
and this will work let me show you okay now if you play you can go there go there go there if you punch okay it's not showing oh that because we didn't assign so go to ninja then window animation click the punch this one add animation event controller methods to punch particle work particle punch yeah you see our punch particle work perfectly but uh, there's a problem did you notice like uh, your punch particle showing the first time but on the second time it's not showing so you can handle it different way but in my case i will just add a like object lifetime script object lifetime and then we're going to like public float lifetime and then we're going to create a coroutine a private i enumerator disable object go else return new wait for seconds we're gonna wait for our lifetime then the object the selective false and we are going to call it from from our on available functions so start coroutine this whole object go you can also use like an invoke functions to make it disable so click on a particle add component object lifetime then go to give like so our implementation point is 0.25 so let's give it like say 0.3 seconds okay now if we play showing again so this is for today guys if you have any questions or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching